Can I sing now? Sure, you know what? Fans of Elf know its main character, Buddy the Elf, doesn't always fit in. I'm the worst toy maker in the whole wide world! But for 16-year-old Matt DeVito, that's what makes the role so perfect. DeVito, who stars in a local musical production of The Holiday Tale, was diagnosed with autism at the age of three. He started to do some strange things, like name every car on the road by their make and model, and he was very over-focused on that, and everybody was saying, wow, he's a genius, and I was saying, oh no, I think my child has autism. Like Buddy, it wasn't easy for Matt to find his place in a crowd. You know, when it came to birthday parties, uh, play dates, things like that, Matt was often left out because he was a little bit different from the other kids. So when he told his parents he wanted to act, they convinced him to get into local theater. The learning process was steep at first. In the beginning, I honestly had to stand next to him, move him around the stage, and pinch him when it was time for his line. But in just three years, Matt has landed roles in nine different plays, and now, the lead. When I was diagnosed with autism, the doctor said to my parents that I'd never accomplish anything, but look at me now. <laughs> his parents hope that his performance will do more than entertain his audience. It might inspire other families with kids on the autism spectrum. You know, it's, it's a devastating thing to find out. You know, we didn't expect to have a child that was on the autism spectrum. That wasn't something we ever thought of. If you're out there and you've recently had a child that's been diagnosed, don't believe what the experts say. Go out there, defy the odds, love your child, make sure that they know that you support them every step of the way, and you, know, you might be surprised what they accomplish in the long run. After all, what better way is there to spread holiday cheer than singing loud for all to hear? Reporting from Paxton, Megan Ottolini, The Boston Herald.